Welcome, and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about my favourite game, Gears of War 4. Let's get into it. Just like to point out, there's a massive spoiler warning going up now, so beware. Gears of War 4 is set 25 years in the future from where we left off in Gears of War 3. In that time, Marcus Phoenix and Nigel Stroud had a child and named him James Dominic Phoenix after Dominic Santiago who met his demise in Gears of War 3. R.I.P. Iron Stroud did pass away but of old age and you can find this out during the campaign as a little easter egg when you go and find Marcus Phoenix. Marcus was the only one who was allowed to leave the cock and that's because who was going to tell him no? His squad from Gears were 1, 2 and 3 followed him but weren't allowed to leave the cog, so they went in to hide him. James joined the cog even when Marcus told him not to and then left the cog which his father told him not to. When James left the cog, his best friend Dale came with him, and they both became outsiders, joining a tribe run by Kate's mother. The three new main characters in this game are James Dominic Phoenix, Kate Diaz, and Delmont Walker. If playing solo, you will always play as JD, except from in the prologue. Dale is James's best buddy and a very tight. They both met each other in a boarding school. James and Dale's friendship is a lot like Marcus's and Dom's. Kate was never in the cog, she was born as an outsider, she was brought up as an outsider, and she was trained as an outsider. She is the daughter of Reyna Diaz, who is the leader of the outsider village. Reyna is very encouraging and brave, she will never give up no matter what, but we find out that Reyna is the Locust Queen's daughter, which means Kate is the granddaughter of the Locust Queen. Since both Mira and Reyna are dead, Kate is now the heir to the throne. The Locusts are not back. The Locust evolved into the Swarm. The Swarm were a creation of Alan Phoenix's machine in Gears of War 3, which was meant to neutralize every Lambent and Locust cell in the world. It partly worked, but only killing the Lambent cells. But instead of killing all the Locust ones, it crystallized them, changing them. It was the birth of the Swarm. The crystal stuff all over the Locust was claimed to be indestructible. The Locusts were relentless. They killed everything in sight, but the swarm in a way was more smart. And instead of killing everything in sight, it took everyone and placed them in these pods, which then killed them. But it also made them swarm. It just used their body parts to make swarm. The swarm are incredibly fast at learning. The swarm can change themselves from these little monkey things to a human-sized swarm soldier that can talk and use a gun in 10 seconds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you need more information, go online to Gizmo Wikipedia. It's beautiful.